Hey guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. This week's pregnancy workout is a pregnancy Pilates workout. We're gonna do most of the exercises on the mat, but we're gonna start off with just a couple standing up. We don't need any equipment for this workout except for a mat or a comfy floor to get down on and some water to keep hydrated. I put out new pregnancy yoga and workouts every week. If you like videos like these and to get notified, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. We'll start standing up so you can get up however it feels safe for you. We're going to come into a sumo squat legs and we're going to bend down but not too far. This is just the warm up. We'll stretch to one side, really releasing through your side body and your ribs. Stretching the other way. Moving with your breath. Last stretch here. Good. Let's bring our hands to our hips. We'll take deeper sumo squats down, squeezing your legs and your glutes at the top. Core's engaged. Pulling your baby in towards your spine. One more here. Now we'll lift our heels up, or for modification, you can lift one heel up at a time. Now we'll sumo squat down the same way, but with our heels lifted. can switch heels if you have one heel lifted now. We'll do five more. Last one. Good. Shake it out. You can turn to your right. We're going to take a lunge position, engaging your core, bringing your arms forward and moving your arms forward and out to the side, finding a 90 degree angle with your lunge, moving with control. Squeezing your leg muscles at the top. Last one on this side. Good. Let's squat through the middle and turning to your left hand side. Activating your core. Moving with control, using all your muscles. Use your back muscles to open up your arms. Two 
more here. Last one. Good. Shake it out. We're gonna get down on the ground on our hands and knees, getting down safely. Still facing your left hand side. Engaging your core, pulling your baby into your spine. Let's lift our right leg off into fire hydrants, keeping your body as still as possible, moving with control. two more last one good release down we'll shift our weight to the other side fire hydrant on the other side And two more. Last one. Good. Release out. We do a couple hip circles here. And just to release. Good. We're going to move in to Pilates push ups. And for Pilates push ups, we're going to have our elbows graze our ribs. So taking your arms in a little bit more, not splaying out your elbows. You can lift your right foot behind you, or for modification, you can keep both knees down. And then we'll push up, lifting up. We're gonna stay in the all fours positions to modify for pregnancy, or if you feel safe, you can go back onto your knees. Doing great, let's do one more. Good. Now we're going to open up. You can put your leg back to be a little bit of a kickstand here and we'll shift our hips open and we're going to raise our arm up, engaging your core and lifting your knee to elbow, stretching out, moving with control. Last one here. Good, releasing down. You can place your hand on the ground and then we'll move our knee down, coming down right onto our hips. You can place your forearm on the ground. Elbow is in line with your body. Knee is in line with your body here, pressing into your forearm so that you're not slouching through your side body here. Let's flex our extended foot and we're gonna do some pulses here. making sure that your toes are pointed towards the front of the room. Core's engaged.
Good. Release your leg down. You can point your toe now. We're going to open up and then we're going to put our knee down towards the mat to rotate our hip in, going back and forth, activating your muscles. As your knee goes down, your foot goes up. The rest of your body is staying still. more here. Last one. Good. Release down. Now we can extend and point and we're going to do tiny, tiny circles here. Your hand can be out in front of you to support you, but your body is staying still. I can definitely feel the burn. Good. Let's go the other way. Little circles back. Good. Release down. Let's come onto all fours again and we can stretch out through our glutes. Take a couple of breaths here. Take a quick water break before we move to the other side. Turning to your right this time and setting up on all fours. We're gonna start fire hydrants with your left leg, finding the right spot, lifting up. Core is engaged, you're pulling your baby in, giving your baby a hug with your belly. Two more. Last one, good, release, we'll switch to the other side. Last one here, good. From here, we'll move into our Pilates push-ups, making sure that our elbows are going to graze our ribs as we come down. You can stay on your both knees here or extend your left leg back. Or for an advanced version, you can do plank from your knees. Strong core, pulling your baby into your spine. Last one. 
Good. And let's turn our hips open. You can place your bottom foot back for a kickstand, extending your toes and your fingers in opposite direction, engaging your core and bringing knee to elbow. Last one, good big stretch. Let's lower all the way down onto our side, lining up our elbow and our body and our knees, pushing into your forearm to not let your upper body collapse. We can straighten out our leg, turning our knee and our toe front and little pulses here, keeping the rest of your body very steady. Good, release down, take a breath. And now we'll take our knee and we'll rotate out and rotate it in, bringing our foot up. Moving with control. Do one more. Good, release down. And we're gonna do our little hip circles here, or circles with our leg. Remember to engage your upper body again, not collapse. Trying to not let the rest of our body move. Good, let's go the other way. Couple more. And release down, good. Let's stretch out the hip on this side. Deep breath. And coming out, we're gonna get down on our feet and our hands. Our fingers can be pointing towards our toes. And we're going to raise up and tuck under our pelvis. And we'll do some tricep dips here. So your lower belly is almost scooping. Last one, good, shake it out. We're gonna get down on our side safely and roll over on our back for bridge position. We're not gonna stay here so you don't have to worry about the weight of your belly if you're in your third trimester. Pulling your heels in towards your glutes. We can roll our shoulders down our back, pressing our hands in, 
we're going to press into one foot or both feet for modification and lift and point one leg up, releasing down. Keeping your hips even, not letting one hip fall down. Last one on this side, release. If you're doing one leg, we'll switch sides where you can continue with both feet down. Last one on this side, good. We're going to take our feet a little bit apart and we're gonna move our knees in and out, pressing your knees together here, activating your inner thighs, almost as if you're using a thigh master but without the machine. Last squeeze your knees together. Let's press up into a bridge. We'll do a few bridge pulses here. Good, rolling your vertebra down. Let's turn our feet out bringing the bottoms of our feet together for butterfly bridge. So you're gonna press on the pinky toe side of your foot, activating your glutes here, pressing up into a bridge, squeezing your glutes, hold, and coming back down again. And repeat, moving with your own breath. Do one last one, squeeze and hold and release down. Good, taking your knees into your chest, doing a few rocks back and forth. Rolling over on one side and safely pushing up, coming back, back up to a seated position. You did amazing. I definitely felt the burn in some of those moves and I hope that you felt you got a good workout as well. I would love to hear what you think in the comments below and if you have any other suggestions. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will keep making pregnancy yoga and workouts every week. If you like videos like these, please subscribe, hit the notification bell and to support me, share this with another mom friend or mom community that you think would enjoy it. I also have lots of free resources for pregnant moms that I will put in the description box below, a meal plan that I put together as a registered dietitian, a complete guide on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor, a pelvic floor guide on how to prepare your pelvic floor for the easiest and fastest birth and recovery after. You can also grab your PDF download of the pregnancy and birth affirmation cards. Thank you so much again for joining me today. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to link to the whole playlist of pregnancy, yoga, Pilates, and workouts so you can save it and go back to it whenever you like.